Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, everyone in the world. Just bring you a short, quick update. Uh, I know it's not going to be short. Here we have recent activity on the magnetosphere. Before we start getting into this video, <clears throat> For those who don't know, we're reading a map. Each map has a key scale legend. And here's our key scales and legends we need to familiarize ourselves with. Closed field line means interaction with another magnet. Polar cap represents field lines within. Earth, right here. This is Earth, right here. And IMFs, <coughs> excuse me, are the interplanetary magnetic field lines from other magnets. These little blue C's that we could see, C, V, U, whatever you want to call them. These here, the top and bottom. Each represent our planets in our local solar system. Now I'm going to show y'all. I want to thank Catfish Angry Catfish for bringing this to public's attention here. You're going to see both interplanetary magnetic field lines that aren't Earth's and closed field lines behind us <clears throat> pushing and repelling them other magnetic field lines. Look at the shock that it took right here in the front. Right here in the center of our screen. See that little lap or loop coming from this body right here just above the zero. Again, no induction off the bow shock, which is going to implicate an increase of, magnet, of magnitude and frequency of earthquakes. <clears throat> Look at how far those closed field lines go. They go past the scale here. Oh, look at this. We have a body here. Bow shock is pretty much flatlining. Look at our polar cap lines. Get squished and tangled. Because of the magnetic compression, I think of it as when these bodies get close to us. Look at that. <clears throat> Here's 
here are wind directions behind us. They should all be pointing one way, but there are pockets that are going other directions. Hope everyone's seen the swirl patterns. Here's an enhanced zoomed in view of the magnetic compression. All that red charge up green charge behind us should be in front of us where that parallel black line is to the right of us. All that build up behind us is indicating an output source just like our sun that we see here that went from yellow to white. <clears throat> and this is the result of Spike and Schumann. Schumann is a trapped frequency between the surface of Earth and the lowest layer of our atmosphere. And when this atmosphere, our atmosphere gets crunched or compressed, what do you think that happens to that frequency that bounces in between that cavity? It has a shorter space of distance to travel from the ground through the air. So of course it's going to be increased. And everyone's always wondering why, how could this person do that? How could this person say this? Well, that's because they're out of tune or out of touch with their own Schumann. And look at how this has progressed since the last time I've done a video. Take it down to the surface level. <clears throat> this is what's making all the storms happen. Look at how long we've been watching this swell over here on the Pacific. And on this side, pancaking the entire northern Americas on both coasts, both east and west. Look at that. We have that here. We have that here. Now let's go from surface back up to the top. See the pattern? Look at this one here. Look at that one here. Mixing with that one. Check out some water. See, it even shows it in the water. That swirl here. There's a swirl here. There's a swirl there. And that's just on one part of the hemisphere to this globe.
Look at the increased wave height here on the west coast of Africa. West coast up here in the Americas, Canada. West coast of South America. But I thought we spin this way. And as we spin this way, the water moves to the left. But if that's the case, what's making the water go the opposite direction? We've been watching this. Most likely, we're still on fire. <clears throat> Fire's there. Fire's here. Fire's pretty much everywhere. Fire on the islands down here. Some fires down in Australia. Or fire up here in Alaska. Here's that increased activity that I was talking about. This is how many fives, just in the five magnitude alone, we've had within the past 24 hours. And it looks like it's staying between South America that the other side of the Pacific over here where we had that big one the, what was it like two weeks ago over there in Turkey see how it's going from that side over there updated wait Turkey see course this is going to give us more quakes. I mean, look at these hillier plots. All of these plates are just ringing, waiting to move. Giant tremor over there in Venezuela. New Zealand. Russia. Montana. Idaho, Wyoming. <laughs> New York. I don't know what's going on there. But I'm pretty sure you guys get the picture. I want to thank you all for visiting the channel. 
sharing the time with me. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you all. Love you all. Be safe out there.